W-I-C-R. Iona College Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, and we're back. Mics are on. No more no more feedback. What's what's today's date, Steve? Today is uh the ninth, right? Today's Monday. What's that mean? That means that all the days blur together and I forget. That's what's that is that the college life struggle? That, dude, that's it, man. Every day is just like the next. Alright. See you, Benzino. Thank you, Greg. Yep, thank you. All right, so so what do we have today? We have yeah. Let's crack things open. Let's crack the shell and the egg here. We have some news. We're gonna have a maybe another debate oh, later I on. I love the news. Let me tell you. Um, we're gonna have a movie review. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be exciting. What's the movie he did again? You know oh, what? Oh, Gimpy or something. Gimpy? No, <laughs> glitchy. <laughs> oh, you know what? Name, I dude? think I think the, uh, the little uh, machine character. We're gonna we're gonna. Let Devin tell us about it when he comes in. Dev Dog. Dev Dog. That's his. That's his. Uh, his MC name. Yeah, we just gave him a new nickname. He'll and figure it out when he gets in. You're Big Steve. I'm Big Steve. And what, what do I get? Greg. We, we got to think of something for you, Greg. It's got to be good though. So it's I don't want to throw it out. It's really important. We will have a nickname by the end of this radio show. That promise? is the goal. You promise, Steve? That's the goal. Listen, don't don't lie to me. It's, I, it means a lot. You know, I want to just want to be equal amongst my peers. I'm not gonna let you down, man. Thank you. I'm not so gonna much. let you down. Um, we can uh, head right into some news. What you got? You got some nice news for us? Let's let got some nice it. news. Sakatome. Here we go. Oh, but you gotta put me on though. <laughs> yeah, where's the? Uh... Oh, you need that? Do it up, bro. There we go. All right, guys. Awesome. Steven with your WICR news. Here's what's happening. Uh, Many people are weighing in on Hillary Clinton's email controversy from her time as a Secretary of State. When Hillary spoke for an event at the Clinton Global Initiative, she made no statements about her private email account. Hillary's daughter, Chelsea Clinton, was asked about her email use. We email about things like Thanksgiving dinner and our plans to watch a movie on Friday night. Uh, So in terms of her official emails, you'll have to ask her. The last 101 years. The last 101 so apparently, uh, Hillary's main email usage is to ask about dinner plans with her daughter. Is that is that official business? Does that sound like official no, business? No, wait. So she was she was emailing this stuff on her on her account. I mean, her government account or what? Yeah, I mean, I guess she had a mix of personal, private emails, and she handed her private emails over, but. You know, they ask uh, her daughter what she used it for, and she goes, oh, you know, to make some plans, talk about dinners. I mean, that doesn't seem like a good government usage to me. No, that sounds kind of unprofessional if you ask me. Yeah, well. Well, that's politics for you, though, Steve. That's politics for you. Um, let's get into some entertainment news. Hollywood is going to be watching closely today as a jury selection begins for a manslaughter trial. Camera assistant Sarah Jones, age 27, died during the shooting of an Allman Brothers biopic. Uh, Jones was filming on the train tracks when the accident happened, and director Randall Miller faces criminal charges of involuntary manslaughter in which he pleads not guilty. In the last 101 years, there have been uh, 52 fatal accidents on film and TV production, resulting in more than 80 deaths, and there have been Two instances in which there were indictments and no convictions. So, it, uh, I don't know, by the sound of it, this guy, uh, this director, um, was filming a movie. One of the, one of the camera people was filming on the train tracks for one of the sequences, and, uh, the train came and, I guess, hit something on the tracks, which hit her, and she got pushed into the train. Crazy freak event, but, uh, she ends up dying. And um, now the directors are facing charges of manslaughter. I mean, according to uh, this, I don't think she, they're going to be found guilty because, you know, they haven't prosecuted anyone before. I, I don't see that changing anytime soon. So, um, well, wow. yeah. riveting story. We'll see. We'll see. Man, that re- one really got my heart pumping. <laughs> uh Deadly bird flu strikes poultry farms in several states. 
Missouri agriculture officials have guaranteed uh, two poultry facilities after, I'm sorry, uh, quarantine, not guaranteed, two uh, poultry facilities after finding a lethal strain of avian influenza. Uh, wait, wait, hold up. A lethal strain of what? Of bird flu. Wait, no, you didn't say bird flu. You said should we read it? All right, all right. I'm gonna start this again. Oh, what is that? Okay, so basically, bird flu is like a disease found in uh, usually like livestock, like chickens, stuff like that. Like birds. Like birds. Oh, holy crap! So think crap. of like a like a bird with the flu. Only wow. it's a lot deadlier, and if you eat it, I mean, you gonna you're die. you're gonna oh, wow. you're gonna not have a good time. You're gonna die. You're probably going to die if you don't get to a hospital, <laughs> like, immediately. Okay. All right. um, so they found uh, in four states, they found in four states, uh, bird flu has been detected, but the officials say that they pose no immediate public health concerns. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I don't know about that, but I probably won't be having chicken for a while. Dude, I can't say no to chicken. Neither can I. Chicken's everywhere. I well, had chicken today in the cafeteria. Just uh, <laughs> be, I'm care <laughs> be careful, I guess. We're at our own risk. Well, how do we? What do you mean, be careful? What am I gonna do? Inspect the chicken? Well, the officials say. Should I carry a microscope around? The with officials me? have said that the cases were isolated, and unfortunately, what they do when they find these birds with bird flu is that they kill them. So they say that they have taken care of, I guess, what they needed to take care of, and um, there shouldn't be any birds with the flu going into public food i mean fingers crossed but uh, it's happened before i can see it happening again well okay so um yeah so those are stories look at that <laughs> i only made it to one of them <laughs> yeah greg, so greg just walked in uh sorry devin just walked in dev by dog. the way so dev dog back, is in back, dev dog hey by well, the way I'm that's glad to be back Good that's your new you. nickname now yeah we got big steve and dev dog in the house All and right. uh our and mission is to find uh greg a nickname by the end of the show the unknown mc <laughs> the unknown mc the unknown. so check it out guys i got i did a, you know a little homework myself because that's what that's what you do in college right homework supposedly so check it out Got my little laptop here. We're gonna click on a button. Let me see. You guys there? You listening? Yeah, there we go. Yep. Okay. So what we got? Edward Snowden. Edward Igloo. Tell, Mr. Snowden. tell us about Snowden. Yeah. After dude, all the snow. Dude, did you guys hear what he did? Well, speak to me as if I did it. <laughs> I mean, you. All right. So check it out. Well, I. I mean. I'm kind uh, of putting the pieces together myself. I don't know if he's guilty or not, but so he basically espionage is is a key term here when you when you think about Big Ed, All and right. uh, you know he's he could where's he? Why do you gotta put me on the spot like that, man? <laughs> Come on, just talk to me normal, right? Oh, I thought <laughs> Yo, I thought I thought that was like there? a rhetorical question <laughs> that you were going. Like, oh well, I'll. Tell you what he's gonna do. Oh, <laughs> nah, I didn't like that. I'm not. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, um, no. Yeah, he released information that um, the United States was um, tracking or like spying on all its citizens. Um, yeah. To find terrorists. So, though it was like to help protect the country, it was invading right. the privacy. Big time. Yeah. So basically, his argument was. All right, so say we have a bunch of things written down, or we mail a letter to grandma, or um, we got a little file cabinet in the corner of our house, right? Wh what's to say, like, how come the government, they're not allowed to do that stuff, but how come if it's on a computer, they can look at anything? You know what I'm saying? If it's digital, why do they have access to that? You know what I mean? No. See the argument here? Yeah. That's what he is saying. That's his argument. Like why he said he was doing the American public a service by letting them know what the government is doing. I mean, I for one, I agree with him. Yeah, I'm, I'm on his side. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, like this is a country run by the ideals of a government by the people, um, for the uh, for the people. Yeah. yeah. Got government by the people for the people. So like we we technically still we like still have a right to know if our government is spying on like spying on us and like tr and like invading our privacy yeah i think at that point it's it's uh 
also a matter of public concern. I mean, I want to know if I'm getting spied on because I don't want to get spied on. I mean, I feel like, do the people have a right to know, first and foremost? But here's another thing is that um, where he worked, it was like he took a vow vow to not release any of these secrets and then, like, did thought he, like you said, owed something to the American public and released them and then tried to escape the country so that he wouldn't be persecuted so wouldn't he also like though we may not like not like we liked his ideals wouldn't he still be charged and found guilty for um disobeying the... right he, he broke the rules of his job yeah right he broke the rules of and, his... uh, and i'm pretty sure he's going to be found guilty because imagine if he gets found innocent and then someone else goes well if you're the public should know this and then they start releasing more information yeah um, cause I guess they assume they can get away with it. So I'm sure he's going to be found guilty, but I mean, would I find him guilty? I mean, I probably wouldn't throw him in jail. So, so, let, let's, thing... so let's say you oh, like, you. Yeah, go ahead. yeah, so <laughs> if you, if you got like a summons to be in a jury, of course you'd be disappointed. Right. And then all of a sudden you realize it's the Edward Snowden case. Cause he's trying, it, it's, it's based on an article released this past weekend saying he was ready to return to the country so long as he's given a fair trial right so you would if you were in that jury you would vote not guilty or would you vote guilty i mean depend here's the thing did was did he do the wrong thing according to his job i'm sure the millions of papers he had to sign saying that he wouldn't disclose information technically he did the wrong thing you know, in their eyes. But, I mean, if they look at it as a bigger whole, I think it's it's important information to know. Like, it's newsworthy. It's newsworthy, and it's, like, it's the government spying on the people. And technically, the country, the government is the people in America. Right. And, I mean, technically, from the First Amendment rights, you have the freedom to petition the government, um as 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 you see fit i guess so um yeah but guys it doesn't stop there you know that where where does it stop greg tell us no where does it where does it continue on to would be the question let me you know like he all right so yeah he's doing us all a favor now we know that the government's gonna you know that they're peeking into our lives or whatever right well how about the fact that the government is spying on over 120 other what is, what do they call them? What are the higher ups in other co- countries called? Like, like we can just like, like public political official, leaders public, or yeah, something like that. Yeah, political leaders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That. yeah so like, public sure officials. he let it. Sure he put it. He leaked out documents. Is what he did. Um, yeah. About our government and our people, but included in those was facts that we are also looking into other countries' diplomats, right? Or whatever you want to call them, which is not okay. Which is definitely where he crossed the line i feel like agreed or disagreed agreed yeah. does it bother me as much no but i dude, mean i'd rather not get spied on myself you know, we can't but... we can't yeah but you know we we're protecting our country you know and yeah if we're letting all these other people know that we have yeah i mean they're gonna them, retaliate they're gonna get ticked off yeah yeah definitely I mean, they're, yeah they're gonna be i'd be i wouldn't like it you kidding me so if you were in jury would you find him uh, innocent or guilty Wait, repeat the question. Say if you were in the jury and he's in trial, do you guys find him guilty or not guilty? As far when you face the facts, he broke the rules of his job. Yeah. And then he also blew this blew our spot with the other countries. That's two big, big things. He you know, breaking the rules of your job alone. You you sign the agreement, you sign the dotted line. You don't do like that. Secrecy. Man. Yeah. So you should be punished for doing that. Not just fired, but it was like a huge big deal. Fuck. Guilty. Do you guys think that Guilty. the public had the right to know the information that he told them, yeah, though? Yeah, Aside because from the, fact like, that he... the government has a lot of secrets. Right. And some of the secrets, maybe we don't need to know. But I feel like that piece of vital information, he, he, um, he did, he did, th- I think he did the right thing because we need to know if some, if it's affecting our daily lives, we do, we should know, you know? Right. Yeah. I could see that. I could definitely see that. So, what do you guys think? You want to go on a little break? 
like, yeah, we can uh, play a little music for you guys. Steve got some jams for us. Now we have to we have to pause it here, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna pause it. We'll be back in after these brief messages from our sponsors. <laughs> 